What is up everybody, it is Master Wolf here, welcome back to some Call of Duty Heroes. So today I'm going to show you a bit of the campaign and I'm going to show you how to complete Middle East. Uh, Middle East is fairly easy but it is a big step up from uh, South America. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, to be honest, at the moment all I'm really using is Juggernaut and my uh, hero, Captain Price. It's pretty easy in using it that way, especially at these levels. Now, um, I have uh, 65 troop capacity at the moment, so I can probably have a few more than you. Uh, if you're like just about to tackle this, but all you need to do really is spawn a few into both ways There's no hit hidden mines anywhere down here. Uh, I was very surprised I thought there'd be a hidden mine here uh, But there actually aren't any hidden mines and now we've taken out the defenses all we have to do is go and actually uh, Finish off the rest of the buildings which we'll do with these extra troops But yeah, I expected there to be hidden mines like just before the machine guns, but there wasn't so it's really easy to run in all you need to do is uh, put four juggernauts down uh, you'll lose one of them. If you put three down, you'll lose two of them because uh, you don't destroy it fast enough. So I put four down because then you lose one and then the other three go around and destroy everything. Really simple, uh, really quick to do. You can use either hero you want. I used uh, Rulecroft for this one because I kind of like to level them up. So level up your heroes, by the way. You just have to put them into a match. Now, as I've already done this match, I don't get EXP again for him uh, or experience points. But to get experience points, all you need to do is put them into the game. Uh, so it's pretty easy to do. Anyway, let's train that back up. We only use, we use like eight of these, and then we use the rest of these just to fill it up. Let's go take on mission two of Middle East. So that was mission one. Mission two, deploy. All right. So yet again, uh, we've got two machine guns, but this time the machine, the machine guns are actually protected, whereas in the last one, obviously they weren't protected. Best thing to do again is just spawn up your uh, juggernauts. Uh, into the battle and in they go I tried to spawn them in the middle there but yeah they'll literally run in and yet again there are no hidden mines so you're gonna have no problem destroying these guys uh, they'll all go for that one but as again if you have spawned uh, around eight I always seem to spawn eight I try and spawn uh, four for each sentry t sentry turret you will have destroyed it and, and that is that it's it's really really simple and then we'll just spawn up the rest to uh, to hurry this along a bit Luckily, the troops don't cost a lot uh, to make and to skip as well, so it's pretty easy. Let's put Warcraft in again. And now the Juggernauts are going around the outside. And by the way, after you've done uh, this uh, this load of missions, there's five in this one. The next one is North Europe, and trust me, it gets so much harder. Literally, the step up uh, from whatever this one is, South Asia. I can't even remember what, remember what this one's called. Uh, to, to North Europe is crazy. And it does get really hard, and I can imagine after that it gets just even harder. So let's spawn those back up. Uh, there we go. Spawn a few more of those up this time. And let's go take on the next one. Sorry, Middle East. South Asia, did I call it? Why did I call it South Asia? I have no idea. Mission 3, let's go. Halfway through, really easy, quick to do so far. Uh, but they step it up a little bit here by throwing in a Guardian. This is probably the first time a lot of you guys would have seen a Guardian, because online... You don't get a Guardian until a little bit further on. Uh, but again, it, it is very simple. What I do, do for this one is I actually split them up. Uh, and I'll spawn five in. And then we'll spawn five in the other side. The reason I do this is the Guardian can kind of shoot through people almost. And if you spawn them up both sides, uh, the Guardian will only affect one side. And then the other side can take out the other machine gun. So this way, you kind of split it up so you, you share the damage. Uh, and it, it's, it's easy to win it. I mean, it's not that hard to be honest. As you can see now, the Guardian's going for the other side. Looks like we might lose. There we go. I was going to say we lose the, uh, three troops, but we haven't. And uh, that should be that good as gold. Everything is destroyed now. Spawn up everybody else and just rinse, repeat really for this final bit of just destroying stuff. And then we'll destroy the base. So people ask me uh, how does the percentages and the stars work in this? I believe I'm not 100% sure because I don't even 100% know. I believe you get one star if you destroy all the defenses. I believe you get one star if you get um, the command center destroyed. I know you get one star if you get that destroyed. And then you also get one star uh, for 100%. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The only bit I'm not sure about is the uh, destroying the defenses. Because usually it's if you get 50%. But it's not on this one. It's a little bit different. Which is which is fine. But it, they didn't really explain what, what it is well. But it's something like that. Just always go for the comm center. Because then you're, you're guaranteed to have won at least once. Anyway, roll over to Middle East Mission 4. Boom, here we go. Let's have a look at this baby. Alright, so again, this one's actually uh, pretty easier than the first one. The only one difference here 
is actually two differences. First of all, obviously you can see they've got the air missiles, but they've also got machine guns surrounded by higher level walls. Uh, so you will need to deploy maybe a few more. I'm going to deploy six into both sides, or roughly six. And then with the, uh, the other stuff, you actually don't need to worry about them because they don't do any harm to you. But you can see here, uh, it is a little bit harder for them to uh, to get in. Spawn up my heroes. I can spawn two heroes. You guys can probably spawn one at the moment. Uh, you will unlock the ability to do two heroes. Uh, but you need to do that a little bit further on. And there we go. So they'll now go for the, uh, the air missile things. I'm going to actually send both of my heroes to destroy this command center. And we're going to spawn the rest of these guys out. There we go. So yeah, the Juggernauts will always go for defenses, even if the de defenses won't hurt them, like the uh, anti-air missile things. Uh, they'll always go for them, which isn't a problem, uh, but it can be annoying, because sometimes they'll run so far to destroy one thing, uh, which they really didn't need to do. But Look at all this gold! But we actually are not getting any of that gold, which is kind of a shame, but that's fine. And as they destroy the final bit, we get victory, 100% 3 stars. We're on to the final mission. We're on to mission 5 now, uh, which is the last one in the Middle East. Really, I don't know if in the Middle East you get more oil. I think it'd be cool if they did that. So, like, depending on where you are, you get more stuff. Um, it might do it. I might have just missed that. But I think, you, I think you don't get more oil in the Middle East than North Europe. But it'd be a pretty cool idea. Anyway, to the final one, mission 5. This is obviously the hardest out of the bunch. The reason being is they have four machine guns and a guardian. Now, the only problem with this one... Which I personally find is when I put out my juggernauts on one side to take out the machine guns, they actually went for the uh, the anti-air uh, missiles before they went for the guardian, which caused a bit of a huffle, a uh, huffle. I don't even know what I said. So best thing to do is spawn up your um, Captain Price, get in your machine gunner, and actually take out that guardian in the center, uh, and also take out any defenses that you can. Don't bother going for the RP, uh, the anti-air stuff. Just go for them. And there you go. So we've destroyed four of them there. We've only got one thing that could hurt us, so we might as well spawn them all out. You know what? Well, should we just spawn them all out because this is going to be the final raid? Yeah, let's spawn them all out. There we go. Off they go. Running in from different angles, obviously. But the good thing about these missions in the Middle East is there's no hidden mines, like, anywhere. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. You do get uh, hidden mines in North Europe, which actually surprisingly changes it a lot. The mines do serious, serious damage. And it does change the game. So you've got to watch out for those in the next one. But don't worry, I'll do a run through of how to complete those. Uh, but it's pretty simple. Sometimes you will need to use the chopper gunner and such to actually destroy stuff and win. Uh, you don't have to use the chopper gunner yet. If I had to spawn them all up anyway, we would have won. But for safekeeping and for the fact that a, a first gen chopper gunner costs like 20 energy points, which is nothing, you can get that in like one multiplayer battle. Uh, it's definitely worth using them. And also, you get quite a lot of loot for doing this. But as you can see, all the defenses are destroyed, and we've got another one star. So I'm guessing that is how it works. Uh, we're going to get another one star once this command center is destroyed. Spawn a few more up just to kind of hurry it along. <coughs> and boom! Wait, boom! There we go. There's our two stars. Uh, we're taking out the research lab, and then we've got a few things that we're taking out over here. What are we taking out here? I, I don't even know what these are, but I'll hurry it up. I was spot look at look at the jugs coming in. Uh, why are you destroying the wall? Go around the wall, my friends. Go around it. In they come. Du -du -du -du. Du -du 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 I might as well spawn my hero to destroy that. And the final two bases are complete, and that is how you destroy the Middle East. Again, pretty easy, but it introduces a few new things. High level walls for one. Uh, defending using walls properly, so actually defending your machine guns and stuff, and also the guardians, the uh, guardian turret, which makes quite a bit of difference to be honest. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below and comment on how you found Middle East. I'll be sure to cover uh, the next one, which is North Europe. I've only just started doing North Europe, so I'm working my way through that, uh, and then I'll go through and tell you how I did it to destroy it all. But until then, guys, we are currently. Let's have a look where we are in the top players, just to finish it off. We are fifth at the moment. Uh, only a few points behind, but we've actually started up a brand new alliance, uh, which is called Heroes. There we go. We're second at the moment, uh, but to be honest, I think we should be first. Let's see. That's 19,000. We should be very close to being third. Uh, first. Basically, me and all of the top players, so Flumster, Stone, Eddie Lacy, Phoenix. Uh, is Kareli I don't think he is. Might be. No, he's not. Uh, basically, us top five all 
said, you know what, let's get into an alliance together and create the heroes, the official heroes alliance. Uh, and that's what we've done. And obviously we're pushing right up now. So if you want to join that, you have to be a high rep level. I think it's 800 or more at the moment. Uh, but as the game progresses, it will go higher and higher. But until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.